Hi strangers! Yes, today we are going to try and learn about what these four tarot cards mean. If you want to find out what I find or interested if I get it all wrong, then please keep watching. <laughs> strangers i thought today would be really fun to to have a look at some tarot cards and to try and understand some of them today because it's always something i've wanted to learn for a very long time and i thought it would be really fun to go through some cards today with you guys and have a look at them i know some of you guys are interested in learning about tarot as well it's something that's just really fascinated me and I love the cards and I love anything to do with magic so I thought today would be fun to have a look at just a few cards. As many of you probably own some tarot cards, I do have three sets of tarot cards in my home but I am absolutely dreadful at trying to read cards and there is so many different things I've read and seen about what the cards mean and ways to remember the cards as well because I have a rubbish memory and I would love to find out what card means what and yeah let's go through some cards and find out what they're all about the first thing I've learnt about tarot cards so far is that no card means something awful and no card is anything to worry about these are just giving you a little bit of a portion of what is going on in your life so if you do find the death card or anything that might scare you as in the image it doesn't always mean that it's going to be bad things and i find that really interesting so just remember if you ever do have your cards read please don't take anything too seriously and yeah and the pictures might look scary but they really aren't meant to scare you some people tell you to just use your gut feeling when you're doing tarot cards but there's so many books and things explaining exactly what each card actually means and i have always wanted to explain the cards as i place them down correctly correctly so people know exactly what this card means and what it could mean for them so what's very interesting now i thought i'd start with one card and i love this card it is a spider but in this pack which is called a horror tarot which you can buy on timu and i thought these were beautiful and this one is the devil on most tarot card packs the devil is actually pictured as some kind of devil or monster or thing like that and first of all we're going to start with the devil you must i'm I must apologise now, I am very bad at big words, so I might have to put some text at the screen, on the screen at times because there's some words I can't pronounce. So, the devil card. There is probably loads of people that know exactly what this means, but it's new to me, I have tried to learn before and I used a little pocket guide to try and read out what it said on it as an answer. But I would love just to be able to see a card and to know exactly what it kind of means and yeah it's something that I've just always been interested in so I let's talk about how we set up the cards okay so there is lots of different ways you can lay cards but for us beginners it suggests you lay down three cards so I'm just using this as a um, to show you so you get your friend or the person that you're doing the tarot to pick three cards and you turn them upside down you turn the cards over in front of them so there is three one meaning past one meaning present and the third one meaning the future so this is a quite easy simple way of telling of doing tarot cards and yeah it's definitely the probably there's so many different combinations of ways you can lay down the cards to mean different things but for beginners this is a really great way to start so let me just say that again you have your past your present and your future and that way we can find out what the cards are for and things like that so say that if my past 
which then makes more sense of the cards because they're not going to be meaning something exactly because they're all for different parts of your life. So in the beginning we have our past. So if we were to turn this over, you'd find that the devil was in the past. And then in the present, we have the hangman and that will tell you about what is going on in the now. And then you have the future which is going to give you a clue of what's going to happen in your future. The devil here. This card means addiction, greed, envy, obsession, sexual lust. And I think this card um, has a lot of a lot to do with the devil and having quite bad thoughts. So I think that's that that is that card there I think that's the whole meaning behind this card so say if we're going in the pattern of what we said is this my past so in the past I might have been very addicted to something or had some kind of a I envied someone or you know them kind of devilish thoughts so I think that is what the devil card actually means for being my past so and next we have the hanged man and this is a man in a cage and he's hanging upside down and I think it's such a beautiful card. Also again, there is lots of different meanings to this card, the same as all the others. And I'm going to try and give you some information about the card. I'm hoping that it's going to be true information because I know what the internet's like, but I'm trying my hardest here. And yeah, let's find out more about this card. The Hanged Man here. Wisdom. Self-sacrifice and having a different look on your life. So this card is all about doing something, doing some kind of sacrifice. And normally people who say these words to you, you can normally find it in your mind of what the, the card is actually talking about. And it's very interesting. So next we're going to have a look at the Tempest. And this card is really nice as well. It's a, a woman almost looking like she's drowned underneath the water and this is a really nice card as well so this card is called the Tempest, and we're going to find out about this card as well well as much as I can find and I just thought this would be so fun so let's find out what this one means the Tempest here is balance harmony patience and self-control so I think this is a nice card because it just means that maybe you're getting in your future you get more in balance and you'll have more of a better future to come you'll have more self-control you'll have a, a better outlook on your life death everyone is always so worried about this card but everything i've ever read just means that there's change to come so let's try and find out what this card is about I would actually love if anyone who is really good at tarot can explain better what these mean and I would love to know what you think and you can do that you can email me and let me know because I would love to go to a tarot reading one day and I have some friends that are tarot card readers so I'm hoping to soon be able to know more knowledge about this but this is just what I'm finding out about it so I'm very sorry if I give you any wrong information. And then we have death, and death means big changes, endings, time to move on, rebirth, changing things. So this card is really cool. So yes, I hope you guys got a little bit of insight from this today. I'm sorry, it's my first time doing something like this, and I hope I've done okay. So I'm now going to smudge my area here. And I might draw some cards and we'll have some fun to see what it says. And so I'm going to just smudge everything and put my cards all together and we can have a look to see what cards I pull today. Okay, so let's smudge the area here. Okay, I'm bringing over the other cards now and we're going to shuffle them. There is special ways to shuffle cards as well. I'm not too sure on that as well. We're going to have to have a read about that as well. So here I'm putting all the cards back together. 
and we're just gonna have because we're doing like learner stuff and this stuff is very basic what we're doing right now I this is just us practicing how to read cards so we're gonna learn more as we go along hopefully I'm gonna have to look out for some more things online and try and find some special books to really help us understand them because I, this is something I really want to do this year is learn how to do tarot reading and I hope that you guys will enjoy this too okay this is how I shuffle cards because I don't like to ruin them so I try and do them very carefully and of course we're going to give them another smudge as well I always like to keep candles by when I'm doing stuff like this just so I can keep everything all sacred and all clean Okay, so I have shuffled my cards. Now I'm going to pick three cards out that we want to have. So I am going to cut the pack in half where I feel like I want to do it. And then I'm going to pick a card from here. And I'm going to pick another card. If you can see it from here, and then um, I'm going to cut it one more time and pick another card. Okay, so this is my first time trying something like this. I have tried to do this before, but it's the first time I've tried to, to do it in front of people, so please bear with me. I'm very nervous. Okay, so we have three cards here we have the Five of Swords, we have the nine of cups and we have strength so we're going to do it like we did before so this is this 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 side is my past this is for now and this is for the future so the nine of swords i haven't seen that one before so let's find out what that means so my past held nightmares grief depression and I think that it's going to be in my past there. Uh, so these are the words I'm getting. Um, so yes, I have suffered with lots of nightmares in my past. And I've had lots of grief as well. And yeah, I totally get why I have this card here. So it's really, I love this picture on here. So the Nine of Swords. Um, so nightmares anxiety, grief and depression and then we have the ten of cups which is now family, commitment, total love and support and that's probably from you guys actually because you guys all support me and yeah it's so nice to have you watching my videos and things so that one, yes, I can definitely agree with them words there. So yeah, I've just found this really cool poster and it really explains the words and what they mean on the card. And then we have our future here and it is strength. And I think I really need strength. It's the first time I've looked at this card and it's such a cool card and this is really cool man with an axe. I know I've needed strength all the way along. Self-love, un unconditional love, self-respect and courage. So my future looks very interesting. Self-love, unconditional love, self-respect and courage. And I tell you what, these cards, by saying these to you right now, totally make sense. And yeah, I, I, I think this is really cool. Okay, so for my first time reading my cards out to someone, I think I've done pretty well. Well, I've done my I've done my best, and yeah, very interesting, awesome. So yes, that's the end of my little tarot card video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
it's the first time I've ever done anything like this so I do apologize again if I make any mistakes or I say something wrong um, I do have lots of problems with my speech and I'm trying my hardest so bear with me and yeah I, I just really love tarot cards and I just find them so fascinating and interesting and I'm hoping that maybe starting up this might either get more people interested in tarot reading or tarot cards and yeah we i i'm really trying to get my witchy side back because i used to spend so much time reading about um different witch subjects and finding out all these fascinating things so if you do enjoy that kind of thing and you're new here to the channel and you've laughed at me the whole time because you're a tarot card reader and um, you want to pass on to some knowledge, I would love to hear about it. Um, yeah, and just thank you so much for coming along. If you are new here and you you just want to have a laugh at my videos <laughs> or you just you just enjoy my videos and want to come and see some more, you can, you're welcome to just subscribe and don't forget the notification bell as well because that will tell you when I have a new video. And yeah, it's just really fun to learn new things and things together. So thanks so much for coming along and I will see you next time. And please don't forget, be weird, be yourself and be different. Because otherwise, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're just boring. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.